Hey everyone, it's your girl Shamae Speaks for Make It Happen Monday. Today we are going to talk about always making it happen. And if you follow me, I'm going through my own definition and what I title it is Mindset Rehab. It's equivalent to an addict trying to change how they are. So this is Mindset Rehab. It's you dedica being dedicated to changing your way of thinking, taking away the past way that you've learned to think and making something new. So you're creating a better you and you're shifting your mindset from negative to the positive. So today my topic is Make It Happen Monday, getting unstuck. Do you feel stuck? Do you feel like, oh my God, I don't know why all these things are happening to me. I need to get unstuck. I don't know what to do. Do you feel lost? Well, today's the day you're going to get unstuck. And as my as a, as a lot of people have heard the expression by my coach, Shea, she, you know, had a training on it and it just was like, yes, this is something that you're going to need to hear. When you get unstuck, you have to let go of all your excuses as to why you're stuck. You can't be stuck because you're a single mom, you're, um, you're going through this, you're going through that. Look at your reasoning for why you feel you're stuck and how can you change those things because you can get unstuck. But to get unstuck, as I said, my coach said, and I was saying, you have to put on your big girl panties and your big boy drawers, okay? You have to put those on and get ready for this journey. No excuses, no problems, only solutions. That's how it has to work for you to change. And I always tell you and keep this always in mind that this change in creating a better you is not going to shift overnight. This is a process. This is a day-by-day -day step that you're going to have to take to make changes. But you can be unstuck. You can come out of the things that you've been through. And let me tell you a brief thing of what I came out of. We're not going to talk about my becoming a single mom. I, you know, I've spoken on that in other videos. But... Let me tell you what happened to me. Long story short, um, about six, maybe six, seven years, I purchased a home. I trusted the wrong person, made some bad decisions, and I lost. I went from having A1 credit, never paid a bill late in my life, to bad credit. Um, just I was very um, down about it, very stressed out, very depressed. And I am here to tell you that I went through, um, yet yeah, last year I was at the WIC office because, yep, I went and got me some WIC because I needed it for my baby. So I was at the WIC office. I seen this, um, this flyer and said something about Spark Point. Um, it's an agency that helps you with career and credit. And I said, I'm going to give it a try. I think it was, I was ready to take that step to get my life back on track because I knew I could do better, you know, um. So I went and I went through their services and a year later I was, um, I completely turned my credit around. I did the work though. I definitely did the work. I entered a home ownership program. Um, I actually ended up getting an award from Spark Point and United Way for um, going through their program, utilizing their services and becoming financially self-sufficient again. And it was so much work. I had to be on aid. I had to get food stamps. I had to work part time. Yes, I had to get some assistance, but that's okay because as long as you're using that assistance as a resource to get your life together and you're not coming becoming stagnant with it, it's okay. And don't let nobody tell you it's wrong. Don't let nobody down talk you. Don't let nobody make you feel bad about having to get resources. You tell them, honey, I'm not using the system. I'm resourceful. Right. And because there's plenty of people who get food stamps, welfare, and who are working. You know, so think about that. But yeah, I had to go through all that. It was, it took me six years to get my credit back. So I'm just telling you, I felt stuck, but I made myself get unstuck. And I probably could have did it faster, you know, but my mind wasn't ready for it. And if your mind's not ready, nothing's ready. That's what I'm telling you. But today, stop with all the excuses. Stop letting people tell you what you can't do. Put your big girl panties on, ladies. Put your big boy drawers on gentlemen and get it right let go of your excuses find the positive skip the negative and get to focusing today you can take that step so it's make it happen monday make it happen get unstuck drop the excuses make it happen shift your mindset come with me to mindset rehab make it work and if you'll notice if you follow me on facebook i'm totally changing some things i had to go through 
I mean, that I went through, you know, two years ago, I was talking, talking mess about my baby dad and all kind of craziness too. But here I am today, living proof that you can change your mindset, shift your mindset, change your life. It's your girl, Shemay Speaks. Look forward to my, for my book coming out October 1st and Igniting the Vision that I'm featured in on September 26th. I appreciate all my support. I will be um, sending everyone pre, pre-sale information. So it's me, your girl. Follow me, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you, and really think about getting unstuck.